What's up, everybody? Once again, this is the one and only Jason Christ. Jason the Messiah, Jason the Baptist, he who is holy, the one and only motherfucking only. You know me. Just Jay, you know. It is what it is. But hey, those are the names are saying out on the street, right? And who am I to deny the street? It's actually Jason from the one and only Hustle Hard Movement, okay? I'm going to do a quick little video today. Um, I actually uh, just had a situation happen the other day where... Um, Family member, old friend, you know, uh, lost his life the other day. And it made me think about some shit, you know. Um, um, you know, uh, we all got our demons, you know. We all got our demons. And, uh, hell, I've had plenty of my own demons in my life. And uh, <clears throat> until I actually accepted them, I think uh, my life was kind of shitty in a lot of ways, you know. Um, that's kind of one of the things you have to do. We have our demons... And most of us will turn to alcohol, we'll turn to drugs, we'll turn to whatever it is we can do to try to get rid of those demons, if only for a moment, you know. Um, we've all had, like, like my era, our dads all came out of Vietnam, stuff like that, you know. And they had their demons, and um, most often that led to a lot of alcohol abuse and drug abuse and um, whooping our asses type shit, you know. But um, it is what it is on that end. Like I said, though, we all have our demons, and... Uh, a lot of us will go the wrong direction, you know, go to fast living, go to drinking, go to drugs, whatever it is. And um, I'm, I'll always be the first one to tell you that nobody ever gets addicted to drugs or alcohol because they want to really get high or they really want to get they want to fucking get too drunk. Usually it's to try to quell those demons, if only for a moment and have just that bit of peace and silence if they if you can. But um you know, and we've all done it, you know, but what I'm here to say is that uh, part of the, I, I guess I'll say part of the hustle hard movement is the acceptance. And we have to accept that those demons are a part of us, you know, that that darkness that's within all of us is 100% a large part of who you are, you know, and uh, you can't run from it. The darkness is like the shadow, like your shadow. You know, the demon, whatever demon's inside of you, that's your shadow on the wall. You can't outrun your shadow, no matter how hard you try. You know, my shadow, your shadow, it's all the same. We've all got one, we can't get away from it, you know? It's like an excuse, right? Like assholes, everybody has one. Well, everybody has their shadow that you can't get away from, you know? And um, it was kind of funny, I was listening to a song, actually, and uh, I don't know if you like Days and Days. They're a really cool fucking band, but they, I don't even remember the name. The song's like real long and weird, but... um. The chorus says, take your hands off the wheel. Let the chips fall where they may. Life is short and death is sure. Just be happy for today. And uh, fucking fly, man. But um, that makes so much sense to me, you know. Um, and that's kind of, once I accepted all the demons that were within me, and believe me, there were a lot of motherfucking demons. I had a, a lot of fucked up shit that bugged me, you know. But um, I accepted it all. And that, that's kind of what I did. I, let, I basically took my hands up off the wheel you know, and I'm not trying to say that I'm sitting in a passenger seat and somebody else is driving the fucking the Jason mobile, but um, I just took it off the wheel. You know, I, it sounds crazy, but I got to a weird spot in my life where I really don't know if I cared whether I lived or died, and that's not because I was suicidal or crazy or anything like that. It's just that I don't have a choice. Shit happens, and it's gonna happen the way it happens. You know, I'm not responsible for that. So regardless, I, I just took my hands off that wheel, you know, and I, I did. I let the chips kind of fall where they may. And um, luckily, they fell in good places for the most part, you know. But that's the, one of the issues is we think we have too much. We think we're in control, but we ain't in control of shit. At the end of the day, the universe is in control of everything. So you think you're in control, but um, just fuck it. Don't, don't worry about it, you know. There's nothing you can usually do to change shit, how shit's supposed to happen. And uh, you don't have to like it. You don't have to like the demons in you. You just got to accept them. And until you accept the demons and you accept things how they are, if you, can never, if you don't accept the darkness, you can't see the light. You don't accept the demons how they are, you can't see the fucking the angels on the other side, you know? You don't accept all the bad, you can't accept the good. You know, it just is what it is, and it's a fucked up way to put it, you know? But um, then the last line, you know, just be happy for today. It's pretty much how I try to live my life. I don't, um, the past, the only thing the past has done for me or does for me is it has something that I can try to learn from. 
You know, the shit happened because that's the way the universe wanted it to happen. Um, granted, if, if there was bad shit happened, yes. That was due to my own personal choices, but that is what it is. That's possibly how the universe wanted to be guided for the the shit that I needed to learn spiritually. You know, we're here, you're not a mind, body, and soul. You're a soul inhabiting a mind and a body here for spiritual growth. And um, that's why everything happens, you know? It's kind of almost like it's predestined, pre-chosen. I, I don't believe in free will. The mathematics don't, uh, if, you, if you ever get into math, the math doesn't work, you know? The billions of circumstances that had to happen just for you to be born. You know, just for your mother to be born, your father, for them to meet, for them to fuck, for them and everything to just write and fucking that sperm pregnate that egg and then every coincidence and all that. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in a coincidence and I don't believe in free will. It just shit happens how it's supposed to happen. And you have to accept that, you know? And um, it is what it is, you know? Just be happy for today. Cause you know what? You're not promised tomorrow. Um, this is kind of like one of them fucked up PSAs from Hustle Hard, I guess, today, you know. And usually I'm a little bit more uh, upbeat and cheery, if you will. And I'm, and I'm an upbeat, cheery guy, you know me. If the Buddha and your rabbi had a baby, it'd be the one and only Jason Christ, right? So, that being the case, I want everybody out there to have an absolutely wonderful day. Um, don't take shit for granted. Nothing. Even a little shit, because a little shit at the end is the most important shit that's out there. All right, then. As they say in old Canada, peace out. As we say in Miami, hasta luego, dale, dale, chao. As I like to say here in lovely Las Vegas, Nevada. Actually, Henderson, Nevada, I guess. You know, same thing. I don't know, Henderson's a little cleaner. But uh, deuces, I'm out. I'll talk to you all later. Please like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. I will have the t-shirts and all that shit coming up soon, okay? Until then, I hope uh, you all have an absolutely wonderful motherfucking day. Oh, and on another point, I have actually been walking a lot more, so that's good. Hopefully um, soon I can be up and at them, or at least I can get myself a big old pimp cane and I can go back to work. That's kind of the absolute goal, because um, I'm sick of being at the fucking house. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day. Um, hit me up in them DMs anytime. Hit me up on... Uh, Facebook, hit me up on fucking YouTube, or not, well, I guess you can hit me up on YouTube in the comments and shit like that, and uh, hit me up on um, motherfucking Instagram and Snapchat, and uh, if you got my number, fucking drop a text. I'm always here to help, you know? That's one of the things I love doing. I love doing the life coaching for everybody. So, all right, on a non-rambling note, right? Peace out. Uh, as they say in Canada, right? But really they say pitter-patter, get at her, and the wonderful... Uh, world of letter kenny which is actually coming out with a new series a new a new season so uh you should probably watch that shit um if you haven't watched it it's funny as fuck all right i'm out late